Let's get that color out. Let's get the color out. Let's get the color out. Color remover. Color remover. <laughs> What's up, beautiful? How you doing today? So, I have another bleach fail video for you. Yo, this video is brought to us by Keandra Lay Lee. I don't know how to say your name, because I don't know how to say any names. I'm sorry. This is what her name looks like, if you can pronounce it. Cool. So, yes, uh, I'm a hairdresser, and I react to things, like bleach fails. And you know what? I got a good one for you today. All right, so one more thing, by the way, I'm gonna fly somebody to New York, give them a hair makeover, make a video out of it. It's gonna be amazing. So I'm gonna drop that video probably this week, um, how you can enter to possibly come and get flown to New York and stay here and hang out with me. So watch out for that video, it's coming this week. Or I might just like integrate it into another video. I don't know yet, but watch out for it. That's it, homies. Follow me on my socials. There they are. Cool. They'll be linked below too. All right, let's do it. Let's get it started. All right, fam. I'm washed because I got hairspray in, and then dry it. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the dryer and then I'll just start off. Yeah, girl. Okay. I mean, we're starting off with a rocky slate here. All right, so the first rocky step of slate. my hair is um, doing the bleach part. I mean, Kandra, so Kandra. I'm gonna be honest with you here. You, you have pink skin, all right, here? Keandra, you got pink skin, so here's the deal. When you got pink skin, you gotta, usually, you, you know, you're gonna wanna have cool hair. Your hair is very warm right now. Uh, I see a lot of yellows, a little orange in there, you know? It's not the cutest on your skin tone. If you had cooler color hair, you know, look up my video on cool and warm tones. Look that up on YouTube, Brad Mondo, cool, warm hair. I don't know, what do you search? Like, Brad Mondo, best, best color for your skin tone. That's what it was called. Always thinking. Okay, so, yeah, I would definitely recommend doing a cooler color on you. Uh, the warm looks a little bit drabby. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Okay, we love a directional queen. Okay, so they're applying the bleach. Oh! Mom's got some technique. Oh wow! Love technique. No, she's like serving technique right now. And I'm actually here for it. Um, the one thing I would recommend, hey, Keandra, your mom, just tell her to take smaller sections next time and really work through. But we love a section queen here on the Brad Mondo YouTube channel, so. Oh! It's lightning. So this is my hair after the bleach. <laughs> <laughs> Keandra, say Andra, day Dandra. Not the cutest look, no. I've definitely seen a lot cuter. Um, But you know what, she's not done. So why don't we just keep watching, I guess. I mean, you could do that. Finish this drawing and then I'll put the green in. Oh, I'll she's, the queen's going green. Okay, it's like an aqua, teal, aqua situation. I don't know, no, it's green, okay. What I'm gonna tell you <laughs> is that, I mean, your hair is already yellow, so if you would have put blue over that yellow, the blue and the yellow would have mixed together and created green. By putting green on it, you're actually adding too much, too, too much yellow in your hair because you already have that existing yellow and you're putting yellow on top of it because blue and yellow make green. So there's blue and yellow and green hair dye. Um, but if you were to just put blue on it, it would have actually worked out a lot better. I don't even know what it looks like, so how am I supposed to know if it looks better? What, Brad? Come on. Watch the video first. Oh, yes, apply that color. Get it, Keandra, do that thing. Get your hair dye green, and it's, oh God. I should never wrap ever again. My uh, green hair turned out. You know what, it's pretty atrocious. Oh, you said it first, Keandra. <laughs> Take the words right out of this mouth. Oh. It's bad, it's bad. Oh, um, oh. So we've looked up some hacks how to get semi-permanent dye out your hair and they said let me do some vinegar, put it in your hair. Never tried that, sit, but so. we'll see. It's actually really bad though. I'm gonna be honest with you here. I know I'm never honest. Well, 
vinegar. Um, it's really and bad. To get yeah. Vinegar. Sorry. Vinegar. That sounds her. really weird. Um, just bleach it again. Sorry. Your hair can handle it. It was. It's already yellow. I mean, you should have bleached it another time. You should have got it to the white or like platinum blonde level 10 before you put the green in. So technically you could have just bleached out the green and your hair would have been fine. It wouldn't have fallen off your head if you did it correctly, uh, which the likeliness of that is slim to none. I'm happy with my hair. <laughs> <laughs> so it said- The shadiest mom ever. Oh, Keandra, say Andra. DD Andra. Okay. Oh, baby, that is terrible. <laughs> She's like a seaweed queen now, though. We love a seaweed queen. Can we, can we do a little edit of seaweed on my head? How do I look? Cute? Is it a look? Let me know. Comment below. Um, I'm gonna wait a couple of days and I'm gonna bleach yeah. it. I'm See? Really just <laughs> <laughs> okay, she got another video. Alright, this isn't the end of it. Where she's gonna fix it, apparently. Fix it. Light brown, because she said you didn't want dark. Why are we doing box dye? Chandra Star. No, not the box die. Oh no, this is a bad situation about to happen. All right, listen, you guys already know. I mean, if you watch my videos a lot, you already know how I feel about box dye. I mean, how every hairdresser feels about box dye. It's just the worst. Um, it just has a lot of ammonia in it and it's just gonna do so much damage for no reason at all. Oh. <laughs> I'm offended so by this color you going on. Oh, yeah, you did. Um, oh I no! Then, oh, look look at the bag! Look at the bag! It's all like piss yellow, and the top is like, ooh, like lime green. Oh, girl! That green color done did you bad. Oh my god, I'd be so stressed out if my hair looked like this. How do they not cry? Like, I would be devastated. Devastated. Green wasn't the color for you anyways. It was the world holding you back. It was like, no honey, you're not going green. Not gonna work. I'm gonna be using this hair color remover. Oh, box dye color remover. Sounds like a safe option. Or the opposite. But now that they're just throwing that out there. Apply that color remover. Get it, girl. Do it, girl. Color remover is the. Shit. Let's remove that color. Yeah. Bah, 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 bah. Ooh, the green's coming out. We love it. 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 Hey, let's get that color out. Let's get the color out. Let's get the color out. Color remover. Color remover. The instructions say you have to rinse it out for five to ten minutes, depending on the thickness of your hair. Tell me who has time for that. Um, Nobody. Then you get Nobody. The hair Nobody. Color I feel like I'm going through it. And it's not me, it's you. What do we got? Okay. Still looks the same. Mm -hmm. e e okay. Looks new. Looks nearly the same. Okay. Looks nearly the same. Oh god, she went through it. And all she needed to do was <laughs> mix a little bleach with shampoo and just go like this. And it would have came out all that green. It really just sits on the top layer, those demi-permanent color molecules. So you need something very harsh to just strip it away really fast. Um, I'm surprised that the color remover didn't do it. Color remover, color remover. Uh, yeah, you could have done the same thing with just a little bit of bleach and shampoo, like I said, just for next time. Actually, I hope there is no next time. Uh, okay, we got box dye going in, more ammonia. Oh, it's dark. It's hey, really dark. This is my Ow! Okay. So, yeah. I feel like she went through a lot of work to have brown hair. Is it just me? Um, Keandra, whoa. I mean, you got brown hair now. At least it didn't turn green from the box dye, because usually when you put box dye, a darker color over blonde hair, it turns green because uh, there is a lot of green in uh, cool tone box dyes. So usually it just takes hold of all that green and makes kind of like a muddy, gross color. So you got lucky. I mean, I'm happy for you. Your hair looks decent, all right? I'm not saying it looks amazing, Deandra, but it's decent. It's just, it's it's about 90% better than what it was before. So, <laughs> props for Keandra, props. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for Keandra's video. Thank you, Keandra, for 
donating your hair to get ruined and then get reviewed by me, even though you didn't know that was gonna happen. It happened, all right? Life is crazy, man. But that's it, all right? Let's stick with cool tone colors for you and let's not do green anymore. Stay away from the bleach unless a professional's doing it. And yeah, Keandra, live your extra life, girl. Keep being fabulous. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Shannon. This is what she looks like. This is her Instagram name. You know the sh dealio. So she says, hi, I'm Shannon. I butchered my hair with bleach five times in two weeks. Shannon, stop, put the bleach down. Got it color corrected to top to the top right and it now faded a bit to the bottom right. Would having a professional try to lighten it more to platinum? Or is that a bad idea? It, I don't know, Shannon, work on your typing <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say here. Okay, I think you're trying to say, is it a bad idea to go get it professionally lightened again? And if it is a bad idea, do you have any ideas what you should do? And she said, love your channel so much. Thank you, Shannon, love you so much. Okay, Shannon, wow, you've been through it and back. Color correction looks really, really good. Whoever did that did a really nice job. Definitely faded uh, to a not so pleasing color. I don't know how long ago you did this, but I would definitely say you can go back for more. From this picture, I can see that your hair is still healthy. I mean, you have a lot of shine in your hair. It doesn't look super damaged. I mean, you know better than I do about what your hair is like in real life, but if it is super damaged, then maybe consider doing some Olaplex treatments or some very reconstructive deep conditioning treatments to get your hair back in order. Uh, and then wait maybe like two months from when you last did it, I would wait, and then you can go get it done again. So if it's been that long or longer, then yeah, sure. You can definitely go do it again. I think you could definitely do it. I think you would look so good with platinum blonde hair. So go do it, girl. Get it professionally done again. Shannon, no more bleach at home. We're putting down the bleach. And I would love to see it if you get it done again and go platinum, it's gonna look so good, Shannon. And if you guys are in the LA area, definitely come and see me at BeautyCon. You can come meet me, you can take pictures. I love meeting you guys so much. You're the most amazing people in the world. So I'll be there July 14th and 15th. Um, you can get your tickets, they'll be linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace.